Hey, this is Simon from the Brackets here at South OC Cars and Coffee. You know, we had a rainy start this morning, but that hasn't kept the cars away. Good turnout, some great vehicles. Let's swing the camera around and have a look. So check this out, we've got a huge turnout already. Um, really great considering what, uh, what was happening with the weather earlier on, but now the sun's shining. Some really cool looking cars out, let's, uh, let's have a look. So, James, James Camaro, uh, Scott's uh, Porsche, Michael's 720S. And we've got ourselves an Audi R8, uh, Albert's Porsche McLaren with a wrap, and uh, Pete's beautiful 930 that's just pulled in. Really, really lovely car. Check this thing out. Just a great looking car. Moving along, and it's great to see the sunshine come out now too. Here's a cool little car. Excuse me, guys. Great little Lance here. Such a Great looking little car, really interesting the way you access the, uh, the engine in this thing. So check this out. This in here. So it's actually a mid engine vehicle um, and it's running uh, east west in this thing. Spare wheel in the back as well. Really interesting little car. Lancia Scorpion. Okay, moving along, an Audi R8. Yeah, it's all about the market. Next to an Aston Martin. It's a really lovely British racing green. It's great. M3. There's another really great looking car here. Check this out. Wow. So this is the uh, the, the pre-Jaguar car that we were looking at a couple of weeks. I was going over this with uh, Mike from Wheeler Dealers a couple of weeks ago and we were saying it's actually called an SS, it's pre-Jaguar and of course um, SS was not a particularly popular name to be used around uh, the UK um, in the in the 1920s and 30s and 40s, so obviously they've changed. Um, we'll come back and look at that, that may end up our car of the week, a, uh, a Cutlass Supreme, great looking uh, Chevy truck. Running a big block, this thing's super cool. Really nice fabricated manifold in this. Anybody who's a little bit OCD will enjoy looking at the welds on those valve covers in that manifold. Wow. Really cool looking patina on the side. Dump down in the weeds. Great looking truck. Great looking truck, look at that. They've done that. Really, really nicely done. Some massive rubber on the back of it. Well, that's another contender for car of the week. Very cool. Uh, next to it, uh, Jaguar and then an Audi. Station wagon, no less, too. Really um, great seeing station wagons. A dying breed, unfortunately. Really beautiful old Porsche in that blue. It's really nice. Next to another, a couple of wonderful old Porsche. This, this one here and this grey one next to it. Really lovely looking cars. Uh, this thing's really interesting. Uh, this is an Oldsmobile, we saw this thing pull in. You know, we see so many Chevys uh, and Fords of this era. You know, you think about the old, I'm guessing it's late 50s, early 60s, um, but with that sort of bubble top on it. But check this thing out, so just, it's great because you don't see many of them, those lines. It's almost like it's got a, an inverted wing on it, whereas a lot of the wings used to be on the top. This thing's got the wing underneath. Running air ride, massive rubber on it. Check that out. And, uh, Really cool looking interior. And then it's great looking engine running those ram tubes. Manifold. Very, very cool looking car. Wow, so many great things. And moving along, great looking uh, Chevy truck. Once again, if you ever want to see how air ride looks, how, how it works, we had a look at this thing before. So there's the tank, compressors either side here. Uh, and then you've got your solenoids that operate the valves there. That's how they get this thing up and down. Of course, then they bag it so that you, uh, you're you not running standard springs. You're running these um, these bags down over here, which is what gives it its height rather than standard springs and shock absorbers. Very cool. Uh, another interesting car we saw come in was this uh, Mercedes. Um, I don't believe this is original, <laughs> uh, given by the fact that there is a uh, uh, turbocharger hanging out through the top of the hood crazy aluminum seats in this thing pipe out the side wow that's amazing uh, this is really cool as well so anybody here ever wants to know how a, a carburetor works here we go 
Power Car Works by Mucho Moto. Awesome out, magic in, awesome in, black magic. Isn't that cool? So, uh, very, very cool. Okay, swinging around, then we have this uh, great little um, RX-8. Of course, they didn't want to call this an RX-7 because they made it a four-door. It was interesting the way they did the doors on these things. They were like a suicide door in the back. Um, and since used as well in things like the, uh, a, lot of, a lot of pickups will use them in the back like this and also um, the uh, uh, FJ Cruiser by Toyota. Viper. Very clean, very neat looking car. Great looking Corvette. And that small block in there. Really cool. There's such lovely lines. I love the way they always sort of scallop the seat out of this and these things in that interior. Cool. Next to it, a Jensen Healy. Check out those uh, those Weber side draft carbs on the top of this thing. Very cool. Um, moving along, and very neat looking Beetle next to uh, one of the new um, BMWs. Interesting car. You know, for those people, those purists who don't like. Um, don't like hybrids there was a road test that uh, the guys from Top Gear did they drove this and also I think it was an M5 and they actually preferred driving that there's that kick car we looked at before um, rolling down through here neat looking combi with a picnic table in the back which is kind of cool this firebird that we've seen here before with a really cool looking um, six cylinder in it this was the engine that was uh, designed um, by John um, um, it'll come to me in a minute. Honda, great looking truck, really neat. Ford, DeLorean, John DeLorean, I knew it would come to me. Mini, Saturn Corvette. Got a repeat driving out of here. This is this lovely looking uh, four door um, Aston Martin. You know, when these things came out, they were the first four door to really have a nice, elegant coupe design. Um, now, of course, Tesla's kind of similar, so did the, uh, the, the Fisker as well. But um, Great day to show Robert's paintwork off on, uh, on his car. Look at this thing changing colour as you go in different directions. Celine, of course. Got Mustang Alley along here with all, all the regulars. Always welcome. It's great to have them here. And then this thing, we're going to catch this before he goes. This is a serious Jeep. It's actually built for the SEMA show. Check this thing out. Riding an LS3 uh, engine in it. Look at the size of the tyres on this thing. Just about need a rope ladder to get up to it. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks, Thanks for bringing it out. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. Isn't that cool? Great looking truck. Really cool. Of course, not to be outdone is uh, Jeffrey's uh, Jeep that we featured before. Um, really cool looking thing. Reptilicon. As we come down the side. Great looking, uh, great looking Jeep as well. Uh, Mustang, and then <gasps> a. Um, we needed that on our video. What was that? Was that, is that your? This gentleman here just did a Sasquatch impersonation. No, no, that's this car opening up. No, I think it was Sasquatch. I think it was. That was a good impersonation, by the way. <laughs> Mercedes, uh, Mustang, another older Mustang, newer one again. Uh, F one fifty. Love the grey of this thing. Um, Mercedes. We've looked at this thing before. This is really cool. This is running that Boxer engine. Um, it's this Jupiter, Jowett Jupiter. Very cool looking thing. So, yeah, very interesting car. Yeah, I've looked at this before. The radiator is actually at the back, and everybody sort of gives Porsche or even later Subaru credit for the for the Boxer engine. This was way before that. Yeah, very cool. Got the AMG guys lined up along here, and then we've got. Um, a WRX, Honda, Subaru, another Subaru, and then a Evo. A bit, bit of plumbing in there. Another one over here. He's got one of those valves that goes pshht. Blow up valve. Another Evo. Nice little Cadillac. It's a cool old thing. Look at the paintwork in it. It's a bit hard to see well as I cast a shadow on it. 
Uh, moving up along here, look at this GTI, this is kind of cool. Very original, very neat looking. Love the fact that it's still got hubcaps on it, it's kind of cool. Um, this is great too, this is a, we always see the BMW 2002, this is actually a BMW 2000. Um, very cool looking car, love the colour. This of course, this colour's back in Vogue again, and I, I don't know whether this is the original colour on the car, but boy does it suit it, isn't that grey. I remember the first time I went into a 2002, it must have been in the uh, the mid 80s, and I, and I was a guy that was used to performance cars. I couldn't believe how these things revved. Um, another gorgeous looking GTO, look how neat this thing is under here. Just pristine, which is great. Uh, next to a Charger, 440 on the scoop. A Mercury, got an S2000 up there. Over here we've got a Bronco. This great looking Riviera with those uh, clamshell headlights. Just a great stance on that thing. Nice BMW. There's a drive, Nova, Yanko Nova driving away over there. We just missed, unfortunately. Uh, another Mustang. And moving right along, that Yanko has got a very healthy sound to it. The uh, Chev SS and little Mini 392 Scat Pack um, Charger. The Loster Mustang, another Mini. Look at the plumbing going on under this thing. Somebody's done some serious uh, work on that thing. Uh, Corvette, Lexus, and then uh, very cool looking uh, GTR. That was a SEMA entry as well, a uh, rally car, Subaru, a uh, Corvette, next to another Corvette, next to lifted Ram, and then we've got uh, another Mustang, and then uh, over here, really cool looking uh, Falcon with that 170 cubic inch six cylinder, Z06, MGB, what a classic car these were, and what great lines they've got, just Supercharged. It's a supercharged one, is it? This is the same year as mine. Mine was a hardtop. It's really cool. And interesting, it doesn't have the uh, spoke wheels on it, wire wheels, which I think would have thought it would have with being the um, the steel bumper one. But uh, yeah, it was an option. Was it an option, was it? Great, great looking car. Classic, they just don't date. Uh, next to a little 911T, a little Mazda, another Mazda BMW, and then a little Miata down here. Great cars. And coming around the corner, we've got two uh, of these RS Focuses. Um, I see this car every week. I am absolutely obsessed with the color. Hopefully we'll pick it up in the sunlight today. It's a really pretty blue, but it has a metal flake in it. it just looks great. Um, there's that other RS, a Mustang. Got a, another Mustang here. This one, older one with a Paxton Supercharger on it. You see the way they used to actually run an in, input from the centri centrifugal supercharger into the uh, carby with that little sealed uh, cap on the top of it. Um, Jaguar C7, great old Stingray. Nice, another nice really metal flake in that thing. Big block in this uh, El Camino 396. Such a great workhorse of, a, of an engine. Camaro Corvette. Another Corvette, little R Bath Fiat 500. Great little engine. Now this car is worth spending some time on. When we used to run cars and coffee a few years ago at um, Target, this thing appeared, and it is incredible. All original. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the, the, the hood open at the moment, but look at this thing. It is just an unbelievable car. As yours is it? Yeah, please. That would be great. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's not, are you happy for this to be car of the week? Are you happy to hang around for another 10, 15 minutes and we'll make this car of the week? Absolutely. Would you, is that okay? How are you? Um, if I would love to do that because of the history on this car. So don't go away. I don't want to give away too much of it now, but let's come back and make this car of the week. And the interesting thing is given the patina, I've got some Maguire stuff to give you. Let's see if we can bring that back to brand new. But I'll be back in just a few minutes. This, this will be our car of the week. It's a very special car. Don't go away. Mustang. That is such a great car. There's a story behind it too. Good morning. Morning. Really nice looking BMW. Porsche. Uh, Lotus. A uh, FRS slash BRZ slash Toyota 86. 
very similar car. Got a little uh, GTI, another one here. Interesting, the Toyota badges on them, of course, they were sold here as Scions, but for the rest of the world, they were badged as, um, as uh, Toyota 86, or of course, the Subaru version. Uh, BMW, bike rack on the roof. Let's hope he doesn't forget that when he drives into the garage. I had a friend who did that years ago. Had his expensive road bike on the roof of his car and proceeded to drive into his garage and ruin his garage door, ruin his car, ruin his bike. Not having, not having a good day. Little Audi station wagon again. Mini. Um, BMW Corvette Mustang. The dog walking around. Got his donut in his mouth. Line of uh, dogs and dogs and Subarus. Let's change the name of this event to Dogs and Subarus. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Big lineup of Subies along here. Great to see him. Welcome, guys. And now we get some BMWs. Love this blue. Love this blue. I think that's Laguna Seca blue. Uh, one of the new uh, Acura NSXs. Another uh, GTR 35. Mustang uh, S2000 with some serious um, uh, flares bolt onto it and uh, hood, different hood. Really nice looking Corvette. This thing's done, been done really well. Obviously set up as uh, it's a modern suspension. Really looking car. Looks great. Great color. It's for sale. It looks really good. Uh, Mustang and a little um, down here we've got a Little ST, a Bronco pulling in right now, really nice, uh, red hot Chevy SS. Um, you may remember me pointing this out this week. Last week, this was the uh, uh, Lincoln Continental, those suicide doors. Love the wheels on this thing, looks amazing. Great looking car. Check it out. 65 from memory. Yep, really cool looking car. Uh, little uh, Toyota, I think this is, and then uh, moving up a bit further, somebody Honda, and then uh, so here we got. Oh, this doesn't sound healthy. Evo Subaru, little Mazda, another one of these i8. Um, BMW, uh, BMWs, the hybrids, and then this cool looking um, uh, Pontiac over there, BM, uh, Mercedes M3, great looking Jeep, and then just the final bit down through here. I think that's a. Let's have a look. It must be serious. It has tape across the headlights. That's that tells it all. I'm not going to try it. This try and rest you. Many times. <laughs> uh, it's also good to have electrical tape handy in case something shorts out as well. Welcome, guys. Uh, and then we're just coming to the end of it down here. We've got a, a really nice looking grey uh, Bent, Bentley Continental GT. It's looking really cool. Very similar to that colour on that BMW 2000 we looked at before. It's nice too because it's got a looks like it's got a slight metallic yeah it does slight metallic fleck to it great color really really good so that's it for another week at south oc cars and coffee thanks everybody for uh dealing with the weather and bringing your cars out in fact the early ones in the rain thanks very much to rubies for bringing out the donuts and the coffee as usual and to the outlets as well everybody have a great week we'll see you back here next week we have a surprise next week as well a very uh very very special car and a high profile person bring it here next week as well have a great week see you next time at south oc cars and coffee